now turtles. Here, there you go. Oh my gosh. Cool. We'll bleep that out. This has been an amazing tour. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. sure we're gonna do another video. I wanna stop this video right here because I need to digest what I've just seen. Now there's a turtle you don't see every day, bud. Yeah. This is a flat shelled turtle, also known as Notocelli's platynota. And this is an Asian box turtle. All right, so that's Cora ambienensis. Right. We, have, we have those at Camp Cannon. Uh, but this turtle, man, yeah, sure. Yeah, man. this is really cool. Check this out, guys. This is a strange turtle, the flat-shelled turtle. I mean, he's just a flattened aquatic species. Uh, these guys, uh, what's their range? They're Indo Asian. Indonesian. Indonesian, yeah. okay. Yeah. So that's a bizarre looking animal. So, if, so if you look at the vertebral scutes here, you yep. got you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas on the Asian box, you have one, two, three, four, five. Ah, look and at to that. To my knowledge, that's the only turtle that has six vertebral scutes, which that's really cool. And and not to mention, looking at the turtle itself is very prehistoric looking. Okay, so they think this is a more ancient yeah. kind of genera of uh, turtle tortoise. Kind of like Minoria is for tortoises, right? right yeah. Just like a more ancient creature right there. So that's really, really cool. Now, the last time we were hanging out here with Al, we walked all the way around his outdoor enclosures and it's insane, okay? But I have a feeling, being that he lives up in New Jersey, he's gonna have some really cool indoor facilities for when some of these animals need to overwinter. So we're gonna head inside to the inner sanctum yep, right. of, uh, of what do you call your, your place? Do you have a name for it? No. No? I don't have a name for the place. But uh, it's, the for, rep, it's a reptastic, reptastic uh, adventures. Yeah, the reptastic <laughs> adventures uh, yeah. camp. I don't know, whatever. Lead us away, man. We're going to hear. Sure, no problem. This so, is so cool. So it's, it's, a, it's very busy in here. Right? Yeah, as all, I would expect all, it to be. All Holy the babies, all the babies Holy, are hatching. Wait, look at these little mud turtles. What are these? Which he, ones? Those are red cheek muds. Red cheeks. Look at these little guys. No way. Oh, oh, what we, we, got, we, got, we got Asian box hatching right here. Cora amiensis. That is awesome. These guys are um, laying and, and hatching in my front enclosure. Okay. I have like a community with my two aquascape ponds and I've got some Asian species. I just find babies. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, they do. I mean, I, they just, sometimes I find them inside here in their enclosure. They That's just amazing. lay them and they hatch naturally. I miss the eggs. But here's a, here's another, um, oh, this is a, what we call a Mexican wood turtle. The rhino clemmies incisa oh, just wow. hatched. You can see the egg sacs not really completely uh, sealed up there. Dude, one of the things that people have to, uh, be aware of is that when you have a turtle that hatches and you have this egg sac in the bottom of the plastron, you want to wait for this turtle's plastron to completely seal before you put it in water. So if, if you were to put this in water, it has uh, definitely a higher risk of getting an infection there and, okay. and, and, and getting septic. Yeah. Wow. So what I do is I put them in um, plastic Tupperware or, or deli cups with sphagnum moss and just kind of it's moist and they just yep. kind of stay in there until it seals up. Because they would normally be staying in the uh, egg chamber for a little while, right, right. feeding off that for a couple of weeks up to, and then they head on out and that's, or sometimes depending on where they're from, some North American species will just stay over winter in their, in their nest. Yes, depending and, on where exactly. Amazing. Yeah. So here's that, here's that Caspian pond turtle. These were, these are young ones. More Emmys. More Emmys uh, Caspian. That's really pretty turtle, man. That's a, a cool species. The Rivulata is one. And I forget, Caspica, Caspica is the other, I think. But all so. these tubs, you gotta manually change out the water, huh? So here, I just have plugs. Oh, you got plugs. Awesome, so, I was gonna say, wow, that's a lot of work, right bro. Right here, right here, I just pop this plug, the water goes right outside. Awesome. And then and then I just fill it up with the hose. I smell musk from the turtle, is yeah, that right? That's yeah, the Kwong Tung. Oh, the Kwong Tung, I used to have some the of those, Kwong, they're cool. The Kwong Tungs emit a very bad odor. Wild. So. But look at this, guys, check it out. So we got these are this is a North American wood turtle from last year's hatch. That's awesome. He's growing. So large. I hold them. I hold some back every year and just raise them up and add them to my outside. Are these more Moremis? These are yeah. These are um, the Chinese golden thread. Oh, Ocadia. Yeah. Sinensis. Ocadia sinensis. Yep. Yeah. Holy smokes. We got. Uh, oh, so, Sublagosa. Yeah, we have some. This is like I feel like this is a hybrid. Um, got this from Jay Frewer. Okay. Yeah. The parents. And then it's, but it's, it's, it looks like a golden thread. Gotcha. So here's the Asian box. This one has. They're, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. When they're little, I love yeah, them. I mean, them. some people think they're not as colorful as like Flavos or some of the other right. core, but I like those guys. Right. So here we have um, 
a variation, a few different of Rhino Clemmies. This is the Fenaria, the giant black wood turtle. So these are just juveniles. Then we have the Areolata, the furrowed wood turtle. Cool, man. And then I have the Diatomata. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The That's pretty. That's pretty, that. Look yeah, at look, that. Look at the heart on its head. That is awesome. Right? The black yeah. formed a heart. That's incredible. <laughs> that is That's so amazing. cool. So this is the Rhino Clemmies Diatomata. Diatomata. Yeah, and those were produced by Jay Frewers. Are they? Okay. Very, very so. cool. And then we have uh, baby North American wood turtles. These, these guys hatch. <laughs> That's great, man. And there's a bunch in over here. So they're just kind of waiting for their um, intake of night crawlers. You got some Argus monitors just right. chilling right here. Exactly. Cool. So I'm in the process of building an outdoor facility for something for them to go out for like five, six months of the year. But I have a pair and then I have a, a, a younger female that I just got. So cool. I obviously want to build them something bigger for outside for them to go out year round. I got a bunch of bunch of baby uh, more baby turtles here hatching. Here we got eastern box turtles. And here's one diamondback terrapin that hatched. There's a That's couple. So cool. There's still a lot to hatch. These are these are more eastern box. They're just covered in I don't know. Let me uh there you go. Spray them down a little bit. That so is the, awesome. these are eastern box. We have um, Eastern Herman's tortoises that hatched. Just sleeping, just kind of woke them up a little bit. But this, this this guy just hatched a couple days ago. Wild. And Dalmatian Herman's look pretty close to the same as that. This is these are some leopard tortoises, the giant leopard, the Pardalis Pardalis. Oh, very cool. And then there's a there's a Babcock eye there, and then we have a a, a young Ivory Greek tortoise. And then you also have enclosures yeah. over here, by right? everywhere. Work, so, work, work. so here's the thing: like I have a system set up, so this runs all the way around the room and through the top there, and it pumps the water from the bottom to the top, and it flows all the way down. So I do water changes on that twice a week because there's, you know, obviously volume. But I have egg laying boxes here, and they they go up there and lay their eggs and just I dig them like check in there probably once a month that's really cool but yeah i got the these are pink belly side necks yeah the sub -lobosa. yeah yeah i saw a, a baby yeah they're beautiful i love it yeah so some of them are prettier than others this one is like more of a like a peach kind yeah of that's color. beautiful but some of them are really bright this one might be a little bright right here yeah that's so yeah, cool. how bright this that. one is that's a beautiful one that is awesome man I get babies of those. I find them in yeah. the pond, man. It's they're, awesome. They're, they're so Wait, easy to breed. So, is this right, Crassicolis you found? Yeah, there's Crassicolis in here. In here? Oh, I yeah. haven't seen Crassicolis in, in here. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Black marsh turtle, right? Is that yep. what they're called? Black marsh Look turtle. at this. This is another Asian species, or rather, I think it's an Indonesian species, if I remember correctly. Yep. I don't know. Uh, know. But it's been a long time. Uh, this is another turtle you don't normally see. Get a look at the face. It's funny because some people, you know, see this, ah, it's just a black turtle. But I think they're interesting, man. Yeah. Really yeah, cool. No, they're really cool. They kind of give you like that panda bear kind of a yeah. head. The females especially tend to have more color. And they got that nice smiley face, man. Yeah. Some of the males are more just plain black. That's headed, really cool. Just so much, so many different species that we haven't seen a lot on our channel. So it's cool to come up here and visit. Cora we, Yeah, Cora ambonensis, Asian box turtle, which uh, there's one right here. It looks like it's trying to nest, but it's got gotcha. you digging around. Here I got Vietnamese pond turtles. Right on. There's one right there. Moremis anamensis. Yeah. Um, I also got Moremis iversoni. Where are they from? I'm not familiar with those. Here, there's one right here. So cool. So it's it's believed to be a hybrid. Okay. But I acquired, I acquired the, a, a trio and I haven't been able to breed them. It's hard to uh, get them to, to reproduce and hatch. So fucking. I curse. I said a bad word. <laughs> cool. Anyway, <laughs> we'll bleep that out. So we got, um, there's also a bunch of Kwang Tung River turtles in there. Gotcha. And then here we have white throated mud turtles and um, some gibba side necks. That's cool. That's a cool South American species. Yep. And they lay their eggs up in the egg laying box as well. Here's my red cheek mud turtle group. Right, they produced the little babies we saw? Yes. So some of these can have good coloration, pretty faces, lots of red on the side. So a lot of people think that just because 
like oh that's awesome if you look at the plastron the bottom hinge here it's more straight now there are also red cheek mud turtles that have a curved bottom plastron here okay. but some people think that just because the bottom plastron is curved that it's a white throated mud turtle but there are there are both there are you're going to see more of the costa ricans kind of have more of this straight okay. plastron uh hinge right here and that's cool. the um then there's some darker ones this is a male but let me see if i can find one with so this is see these are got these got straight plastron yeah on the bottom hinge there let me see if i can find one that's a little more curved or this another one another straight uh, just not pulling out turtles not <laughs> there you go this one's a little curved. look at that yeah it's a little curved there but that's a red cheek mud turtle as well awesome wild man so that's pretty that's actually really cool Nice show. I like that. Yeah, sure. that's that's pretty awesome. Man. Just so much work. <laughs> yeah, so much. Oh, oh, under here we have um, the Rhino Clemmie's annulata. So these are the uh, the brown wood turtle. Uh -oh. That's cool. Man. This, this is Central America. This species. is a female. Yeah. So you don't see many of these floating around, but legally they can be imported still. They just control the numbers going out of the country, which wow. is which is good. And and I have. Uh, group of them down there have gotten an egg before but didn't get to hatch. Ah, uh, bummer, man. And then our, uh, some kind of podoc, what is this? Yeah, uh, Voglite. Oh, Voglite. Yeah. Right on. Yep. That's cool. From Venezuela. No doubt. Wow. So you guys know how I have, um, in Cayman Creek, we have the Podoc Nemesis unifilis. Uh, this is a member of the same, uh, genera but they're a little bit more difficult to get the bowl yeah. yeah yeah so every once in a while they come in but with things that have been going on in venezuela yeah not really exporting and, them and they're not in good shape usually yeah now um, this also, snake neck big is snake massive neck. Dude, to pull what? that out and <laughs> you're getting look at that guy oh. have you ever this is what i hope mine turn into holy <laughs> smokes oh my gosh do i got it yeah. <laughs> i don't have it oh my gosh oh my gosh which species? Seabin rock? Yes. Yeah, Holy smokes, it's Seabin rock. This is the same snake neck species I have. The babies that I have. This thing is large and in charge. Unreal. How old is this animal? Do you know? I'm going to say, well, it was imported when I got it, but okay. I'm going to say I probably had it for six, seven years. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. She's also a chunky monkey. That is yeah. so cool, dude. So, uh, so she's grown a few inches since I got her. So I got her as a big female. Wow. I don't want to drop her. Yeah, that's just a, that's just a amazing. Eater. Look at that shell. Whew. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> that is so cool, guys. There you go. There's oh, a few of them in there. That is awesome, man. That is so cool. Here we got twist neck. Hey, that's so. Yeah. Um, we'll be getting two of these for uh, for Cayman Creek. That's awesome. I'm gonna do a whole video on these guys. That's so rad. They're really cool. They're alien looking like. Yeah, they are, right. man. And these guys just like shallow water, walk around, you know? Yep. That that's is it. so cool. They, they, they pretty much live in, in little tiny uh, puddles. Uh, puddles and creeks like yeah. running along the side of the road. Ditches. No way. That, and, they, and they'll be burrowed and then when it rains, they come right out. Cool. Yeah, that's a we cool. Got, we got one breeding down there right actually. Really? Oh yeah, look at that. They have a cool head. Wow, you got a few of them yeah <laughs> holy smokes this is awesome man is this this, this is like this one of the most impressive indoor setups you've yeah, ever no, seen this is north like it's it's impressive and it's he's got a lot of different species which is yeah, really right. really cool he's a true collector here wild and then and this is where we put the juveniles for you know raising them up before they go outside with some of the species like here's a awesome. golden thread that's cool and then there's some reeves turtles in here here's a reeves turtle so once it gets large it will go with the other with the adults awesome the... whoa these Wait, are the uh thermalis sri lankan pond turtle never saw that i've never seen that turtle in captivity i don't know anything about this turtle they're they're pretty neat uh, they get about eight inches seven inches i've never seen this thing that's so cool i i love it that i'm actually seeing something i've never seen before and yeah, the only one i know that breeds them is jay fur really and uh this down i think by tampa yeah he does what's what's the uh, latin on that uh sub trajuga thermalis I think. okay i think it's i've heard of sub trajuga thermalis but yeah. i've never i've never seen that that's really cool man and we have uh, a few of them. some some hamilton oh uh, they're awesome yeah great turtles man yeah so uh i have a pair that's back there that 
that I actually acquired from Chris and then hatch those. So we have, look at all the fresh water. We've got mod into. Mata Matas. Oh shoot. Some juvenile Mata Matas, no way. Yeah, there's four, they're from Peru. They're gonna get much larger, about yep. this large, sometimes even bigger. But they eat out of my hand. I don't even have to feed them live fish. I'll just get smelt and I'll just dangle it right here and they'll come right over and eat right out of my hand. So you don't have to feed live fish. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we got, uh, I got a, this is a, um, Temple turtle. Oh, and a deli. Yep. That's the, great. The yellow-headed temple turtle. I had, uh, years ago, there was a, a big confiscation out of Hong Kong, and Jacksonville, Jacksonville Zoo got some, and then the TSA had nowhere to send the other one, so they put them in a pond I had, but unfortunately, those animals weren't in the best shape, and we had one of the coldest winters ever. Yeah. And so, some of them were dying, so we had to find a new home for them, but I had adults. But these animals were fresh out of the food market. Yeah. They had hooks in them. It was like a bad scene. I, but, have, a, uh, I have a trio out there with the grandest. Yeah, I wound up getting some eggs. Did you? And I gave them back to the TSA. So there were some eggs that, that have hatched and did well. Paying sure a smith eye. That's a, uh, is that ten, a tent turtle? turtle? Yeah. That's an Indian species. That's pretty, man. Yeah. It almost looks like it would be an albino, but that's just the color. They don't get that large, and this is a, this is a young female. And the, do the males, are they the ones that get the um, keel? Here we, here's a male. Okay. That's cool. No, they don't have the keel, but... Or is that a roof here's turtle? Here's another male. Yeah, if there's a roof turtle. Roof turtles, right. yeah. That's cool, man. That's a pretty turtle, huh? I've never seen these in, like, never held one of these either. Yeah. So you're giving me two firsts. That's really cool, man. Yeah, cool. And so this is the male, this is the female. Right on. They stay kind of small. Males are pretty much full size there. Wild. So the, the, in the winter time, I have my grandest going here. Okay. And I still have some uh, calendars in here. Okay, yeah. Calendar borneosis. Yep. Uh, We've got some of those. And I have a drain. I just pop the drain. It goes right out, plug it, fills it up. So I got these pipes that are going here. Everywhere, man. Yeah, and they just... They this just, is total utilitarian. Like, it's... This is what you got to do yes. in New Jersey. This is awesome, though. Oh, here. If you, if you want. Oh, this is one of his books. Check it out, guys. Yeah. You got to sign one for me, bud. They're, they probably already are. Oh, they already signed? Well, yeah. you know, I thought it'd be a little more personalized <laughs> and shit, dude. Come on, dude. All right, that's awesome, man. So check this out. Where can people find these books? You can buy them on Amazon. There you go. Check them out if you want to read up on the wood turtle and the spotted turtle two species found in the great state of New Jersey. That's right. Awesome stuff, man. I think we have just done a complete loop of the inside of this reptastic uh, shed, if yeah. you will. Al, man, thanks so much Absolutely. for having me over. This has been amazing. Uh, you get down to South Florida to do some baseball. Yep. Would you guys like to see Al come out to the camp? Let me know in the comments below. I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. He's coming. <laughs> so uh, hopefully end of October, November, we'll have you over. We'll have some adventures with Al. Maybe we'll bring him out. He wants to see some rattlesnakes yeah, out there. Let's go out there. And, and let's see what we can it. find, man. I think I met a new buddy. Yeah, Very right. cool to meet you, man. Yep. This was a really fun trip to the Northeast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Check out Reptastic Adventures on Instagram. Let them know Camp Kevin sent you. Give them a follow. You guys won't be disappointed. And pick up the books. All right, man. All We're right. going to go hang out and turtle nerd out. See ya. See ya.